All aboard. Welcome. This is our dumbbell only upper body or arm focus workout. Today we'll be focusing in on the front and the back of those arms. Especially for those of y'all who want to have those arms looking good in those sleeveless shirts, dresses, etc. Alright? So what you'll need will be three pairs of dumbbells. If you don't have three pairs of dumbbells, that's fine. I'll make sure I provide the modifications on how you can either use two pair or one pair of dumbbells based off what you have. But if you have three pair of dumbbells, what you'll need will be a lighter set. The lighter set I would say for somebody who's a beginner can range from two to five pounds. Anybody who may have an intermediate to experienced level, you're gonna have five pounds, between five and maybe eight pounds. And then what you'll need will be a middle set, um, a medium set of weights that are kind of not super heavy, but not super light. And that range can be between eight and 15 pounds, depending on your experience. I would say for my introductory people, it would be between uh, eight and 10 pounds, maybe 12. And then for anybody who is intermediate to experienced, it's going to be 10 to about 15 pounds, okay? And then you'll have your heavy set. And the heavy set for my introductory people can range between 12 and 20 pounds on the higher end and then for my intermediate to experienced people it could either be between 15 and 25 pounds just depending on your strength levels okay and that will be what you'll need if you don't have all three pairs and if you have a lighter pair for instance when we're doing a heavier set you can just go slower since you will be we're doing everything for time under tempo and then if you have a set of dumbbells that are heavier and we're using the lighter set, you can go a little bit faster by picking the time up on the tension or the tempo of the exercise, okay? And that's the modification we'll have. If you have a chair or an elevated platform like a bench or your couch, you'll use that because we'll be doing several of the exercises using the chair. And then also if you have a mat, if you're outside, for instance, that'll help out too. Starting in 10 seconds. Again, this is our dumbbell only upper body workout. We're gonna go with our cross curls. Normally, I would warm up on the lighter weight. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the heavier weight. What we're gonna do is you're gonna do a three second hold at the top with a three second negative. We're gonna alternate arms. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Come across, hold, one, two, three, one, two, three, okay? So one, two, three, one, two, three. Again, limit that elbow movement. Just let that forearm do the work. One, two, three. So we're doing a three second hold. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, we're gonna do two sets back to back of each exercise. So you'll be able to make sure you perform each exercise correctly, especially by the second set. All right, so again, remember we're doing, you wanna limit that elbow movement. Don't rock like that. Let's keep that elbow in one place. Here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. If you can't control the weight, you feel it's too heavy, go ahead and lighten it, all right? That'll help you be able to control the weight and not compromise form. Remember, so it's three and three. And we're alternating arms. Hold, one, two, three. One, two, three. If you feel the dumbbell slipping, hold it more towards the top like I'm doing. One, two, three. All right, hold, squeeze for three. Control it, letting that bicep do the work on the way down. One, two, and try not to lean over too much. Stay straight up in that neutral position. All right, one, two, three. One, two, three. Alright, so next we're going to uh, switch to the muscle group on the back of the arms and triceps. Most triceps stuff you're going to use the lighter weight. All right? I have a pair of uh, 8 pounds, you can use anything between 2 and 5 if you're introductory. Anything, everybody else above can use heavier weights here. So on this one, what we're going to do is we're going to do a cross tricep extension. So I'll hold this one down, you're going to go across and hold. What you'll do is 3 pulses, 3 second squeeze. So 1, 2, 3. Squeeze, and we'll switch to the other arm on the second set. One, two, so you're pulsing at the bottom, 
squeeze for three seconds at the top. So one, two, three, one, two, three. The squeeze is very important. Even though it seems like something simple, that's where you help the muscle to grow when you squeeze. So one, two, three, stretch, squeeze. Okay, almost locking the elbow out, feeling the back of that arm work. One, two, three, squeeze. And we're going across, all right? We're gonna switch arms. Here, elevate, and we're going across, almost like to the opposite shoulder, pulsing, squeezing for three. One, two, three, Ready? squeeze. One, two, three, squeeze. One, two, three, squeeze. And you wanna limit that elbow movement. Whenever you perform arm movement, you normally want to limit the elbow movement, okay? You don't want the elbow moving all around. You wanna let that muscle control the movement. So usually if it's a tricep or a bicep, that's gonna control the movement and you limit that elbow movement. Three pulses. Three sec, two to three second squeeze at the top. So one, two, three, stretch, squeeze. Stretch, remember we're going kind of at an angle across and back, all right? Not directly back, angle. Okay. Three, good, all right? One, two, three. Next, we're gonna go into our hammer curls. Like I said, with biceps, I used to use like the middle or the heavy weight. I'm gonna use the heavy, but you have your preference, okay? We're gonna do our hammer curls, three second hold. So basically here, palms facing in, same time. So one, two, three. One, two, three, and you reset. So hold for three, one, two, three. Feet about shoulder width apart, all right? So you have a good firm foundation. Hold, one, two, three. Make sure you keep breathing. One, two, three. All right, squeeze, one, two, three, one, two, three. All right, so up, hold, one, two, three, one, two, three. Keep, you got it. Come on, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, one more. One, two, three, one, two, three. If you feel those arms shaking, that's great. You can put the dumbbells down, let your arms rest for a second. Remember, we're doing two sets on each exercise. We're gonna go back again, again. And then don't rock the elbows. Rock them into your sides, hold for three, down for three. Here we go, let's get it. So, one, two, three. One, two, three, good job. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Looking good. Hold it, one, two, three. One, two, three. Perfect. Now, if you want to, you're welcome to do these seated to limit the upper body movement, but I'm gonna do these standing, okay? So, one, two, three. One, two, three. Good, core tight. One, two, three. One, two, and three. Great job. All right, so now we're gonna go into our tricep kickbacks. Like I said, most tricep stuff, you're gonna have a lighter weight. We're gonna do this kneeling on that bench. You wanna keep your chest down. Elevate your elbow at the side, directly aligned with your midsection. You're gonna kick up and hold for three. One, two, three. Straighten arm all the way up and control it. One, two, three. All right, chest down, let's go. Squeeze, one, two, three. That squeeze is so important. Then down, one, two, three. When you come down, don't let that elbow drop. All right, so squeeze, one, two, three, one, two, three. Squeeze, one, two, three. You should feel that tricep working. Again, don't let that elbow drop like that, okay? Up, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, one, two, three. The most important thing is keeping your chest down. You don't wanna be standing straight up like this. Chest down, all right? Switch, switch arms, have that foundation. I like to stagger my feet, chest down, elbow elevated to my waistline or my midsection. Here we go, up, squeeze. One, two, three. One, two, three. Squeeze, one, two, three. Elbow stays in the same place, good. Up, contract, one, two, three. One, two, 
three. Yep. Squeeze. One out. Three. One, two, three. Up. One, two, three. One, two, three. Perfect. Squeeze. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right. Up. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right. One, two, three. Perfect. Now we're going to go back to the front of the arm. We're going to do a three point curl. You're going to do a full curl. Halfway up curl, I mean halfway down and halfway up. I'm actually gonna use the middle or the medium weights for this one. Show you from this way. So, the, your palms are gonna be facing up. You're gonna go all the way up for the first one, then come halfway down. Then go back up, then reset at the bottom, then come halfway up. That's one rep, and we'll repeat. So all the way up, halfway down, back up, all the way down, halfway up, reset. So full curl, go halfway down, come back up, go all the way down, come halfway up, reset. All the way up, halfway down, all the way up, and halfway. That's the first one. I'll turn this way so you can see it this way. All right, so three point curl, full, Halfway down, halfway up, all right? Palms facing up, feet shoulder width apart. You want a good foundation. Core tight, straight up and down, let's go. All the way up, halfway down. All the way up, all the way down, halfway up. Reset from the top, all the way up, halfway. Back up, all the way down, halfway up. Reset, core tight, don't move those elbows. All the way up, halfway, back up, all the way down, halfway up, back down. Give me one more, come on. All the way, halfway, back, all the way down, halfway up. Good job. All right, so next, we're going to go into basically our one and a half tricep extension. We're gonna use the heavier weight, just one of them. And I'm gonna face this way so you can see it. You're gonna go, try to stand all the way down, halfway, back down, and then reset, squeeze to the top, that's one. So all the way down, halfway, back down, up. And try and keep your elbows forward as much as possible, okay? As you get stronger, your triceps will bring your elbows more in. For my introductory people, your elbows may flare out, that's fine. As you start to develop this tricep strength, you'll notice your elbows get to come in more. All right, all the way down, halfway, back down, squeeze, okay? All the way, halfway, back down, squeeze. All the way, halfway, back down, squeeze, reset. We're gonna do one more, all right? I'm gonna turn this way this time so you can see me perform it while facing you, okay? Great job. Again, this is our upper body only dumbbell arm focus workout. Here we go. Starting from the top, here we go. All the way down. Halfway, back down, and then reset. All the way, halfway, back down, and then reset. All the way, halfway, back down, reset. All the way, halfway, back down, reset. All right, all the way, halfway, back down, reset. Good job. All the way, halfway, back down. Oh yeah, arms should be feeling it by now, good job. All right, now we're gonna go into what we call our concentration curl. I'm, you're gonna do this seated. You're gonna put the inside, basically, your elbow inside your thigh. Palm facing up, okay? You're gonna hold for three seconds at the top and one, two, three on the way down. You can lean over with this. So here, start from the bottom. Come up, one, two, three, and one, two, three. We're gonna be using heavy weight on this one. Squeeze, control, one, two, three, one, two, 
three. And your inner thigh is stabilizing your elbow. Squeeze. One, two, three. One, two, three. Up. Squeeze. One, two, three. One, two, three. Up. Squeeze. One, two, three. One, two, three. Up. Squeeze. One, two, three. One, two, three. Up, squeeze, and three, and one, two, and three. Perfect. We're gonna switch arms. Remember, you can lean over. The goal is to stabilize that elbow so it doesn't move, and that bicep is doing all the work. This is a simple exercise, but it's really great for the front of your arms. All right, so here we go. So squeeze, one, two, three, one, two, three, on the way down. Let it go all the way down. Squeeze, hold it. One, two, three, one, two, Three. Up. Squeeze. One, two, three. One, two, three. Up. Squeeze. One, two, three. One, two, three. Keep pushing. Squeeze. For three. And then three. On the way down. All right. You got it. Good work. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. Great job. All right, now we're gonna go into our weighted tricep dips. Here, we're going to go and hold for three at the bottom, and then we'll either do three pulses or three second holds at the bottom. So three on the way down, three pulses. So one, two, three, you're gonna pulse it right here. One, two, three. Press up, squeeze those triceps to the top. One, two, three, pulse. One two, three, squeeze. All right, down for three. One, two, three, pulse. One, two, three, squeeze. Okay, one, two, three, two, three, squeeze. Good job. One, two, three, pulse it. One, two, three, good. Come on, we at least got one more. One, two, three, pulse it. One, two, three. Squeeze, good job. All right, remember we're doing two of those. If you can't do it with the dumbbell, that's fine. Let's go body weight. Triceps really take time to build strength up, especially for women, because most women have never trained the back of their arms. So starting from the bottom, there's nothing wrong with it, okay? You'll definitely see the improvements as you progressively do this workout on a weekly basis. All right, so down. One, two, three. One, two, three, squeeze. Down, one, two, three, and one, two, three. Squeeze, okay? One, two, three, one, two, three. Squeeze. One, two, three, one, two, three. Squeeze. One, two, three, two, three. Good job, you should be feeling it, I am. One, two, three, one, two, three. Squeeze, let's get one more. One, two, three, one, two, three. Good job, good job. All right, we're gonna do a combination curl next. I'm gonna go with the middle weight. Most of y'all can probably go middle or heavy. I'm gonna do a cross curl, a hammer curl, and to a regular curl. So it's gonna be, and we're gonna do one arm at a time. So cross, hammer, regular, okay? Across, hammer, palm facing up, regular. Repeat, cross, hammer, regular, okay? Cross, hammer, regular. Keep pushing, cross, limit the elbow movement, hammer, palm facing up, regular. Keep going, we got cross, hammer, regular, okay, cross, Hammer, regular. One more, cross, hammer, regular. Good, I'm gonna switch that other arm. Great job, try not to lean over like that. Stay up in that neutral position, straight up and down. Let that bicep do the work. Here we go. Cross, hammer, regular. Good job, exhale every time you contract the muscle. Hammer. Regular, okay, cross, 
squats, hammer, regular, cross, hammer, regular, cross, hammer, regular. Good job, keep breathing, keep working. Cross, hammer, regular, okay? You cross, hammer, regular, perfect. Now we're gonna go into our line tricep, skull crusher, or kick ups. What we're doing is when you lie down, we'll have both dumbbells here, elevate them, elbows up, you're gonna go all the way to the side, tap the ground if you can get down there three times, squeeze, okay? One, two, three, squeeze. One, two, three, squeeze. And see my elbows aren't moving too much. My arms are really controlling that movement. For me. My forearms are the only thing they're moving, okay? Three taps, and you can go three seconds on the way down if you want. So one, two, three, triceps controlling it. One, two, three, okay? If you can't touch the ground, that's fine. You'll get, as you get stronger, you'll be able to get a better range of motion, especially with your triceps. One, two, three. Good. All right, we got one more. Just so I'll turn this way so you can see what it looks like from this angle when I'm facing you. Elbows elevated, you're gonna drop it right on the side of your ears. And I'll put my legs down too, okay? So here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Squeeze. One, two, three. Elbows aren't moving, your triceps should feel this. All the way. Two, three, three, squeeze. Make sure you squeeze at the top. One, two, three, tap, tap, tap. Great job. So, that's the completion of the first round. What you'll do is you'll repeat this video and go ahead and get two rounds because we want to get four sets total of each exercise. Okay? So, we want to get four sets total of each exercise to complete the workout. All right, so let's do it. <laughs> 